So today we're going to look at the joys of living with a left-hand drive car here in the UK. Now, uh, it's one of the things that always comes up. Uh, I've bought and sold quite a few left-hand drive cars here, and, and one of the questions is, what's it like to live with? Um, what's the visibility like? You know, can you can you get on with it on a daily basis? So. My daily is in fact a left-hand drive coupe, as you'll have seen from a couple of the previous videos. Um, and uh, do you know what? I really enjoy it. Yeah, there's a good few Volkswagens out there that come in left-hand drive form. I think for me, the big question is, is you know, can you live with it on a daily basis? Right, so it's a weekday and I've got to go into the office. So let's jump in the Jetta and see how we get on. So yes, so it's just stop start the whole way into the office and I probably haven't done more than 10, 15 miles an hour absolutely tops. But the coupe's an auto, so do you know what? It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm, I'm just cruising through the traffic, it's nice and relaxing and I don't really have to concentrate on changing gears, which is great. Um, the one thing that has been a little bit of an issue is visibility. So it's always one of those things with a left-hand drive car. Um, especially in tight traffic, so pulling around buses and um, lorries that have just parked up. Um, I've got to leave a big gap so that I can actually see uh, around it because otherwise I'm just going to sit there and wait for that bus to go. So I'm just pulling up to the office. Now that in itself poses a challenge in a left-hand drive car uh, because uh, I've got a uh, security barrier to deal with. So um, it means I've got to hold my fob up against the uh, up against the pad and uh, it'll open the barrier. So I've got an ingenious idea for this. So uh, let's see how we get on. Winner. So that got me into the office. What was that you might ask? It is a grabber yes um i had one as a child not quite as well built as this and i think it made robot noises but this is an absolute lifesaver if you imagine m6 toll road uh, multi-story car parks with ticket machines anything like that this is your friend it's sunday morning so i'm gonna have my coffee and i'm gonna plan my route for today so i'm taking the jetta out to really just hit the country roads and have some fun and really just see actually is a left-hand drive car that difficult to drive on country roads or is it just a lot of people making a big fuss about nothing so the weather's turned cold wet and horrible so i've decided it's time to break out my mark ii golf owners club hoodie so i bought this from the club shop about a year ago and it still looks great so there's a link in the description to the club shop so you can get yourself some mark ii golf merchandise as well it helps the club, so guys, check it out. It's well worth a look. So that's my coffee done. So let's jump in the car and let's go and have some fun on these country roads. Now this road is a lot of fun. It's a country road with a national speed limit. So for a Mark II, it's absolutely perfect. Now in the Jetta, it's a bit of a challenge because it's left-hand drive, so I've got a transit van up in front of me who's doing less than the speed limit. Now I'd like to pass him, but I just can't see round him at the moment, so I'm going to have to drop back quite a way to get past. Now, that would be fine if I was in a, a rally or, or, or something a bit quick, but the trouble I've got is I've got a 1600 three-speed auto. I just can't close that gap. So I'm gonna have to sit here, hope he pulls off, and just enjoy the ride. So let's see how we get on. So after a morning of tearing up the country lanes, I am ready for some lunch. So let's find a McDonald's and see how the left-hand drive copes with a drive-through. Oh yeah, can I have a double cheeseburger and a water please? Yeah. 
So that wasn't too bad. The guy actually leant forward with the card machine and gave me a hand. So fair play, that wasn't too difficult. So again, that was relatively straightforward. Uh, the lady leant forward, passed it through the window. Can't complain at that. So I chalked that up as a win for the left-hand drive. So it's official. In a left-hand drive, Mark II, you can still go to McDonald's and get a cheeseburger. I mean, what's not to like about that? So that's lunch out of the way. So let's get back out on the open road for a last bit of fun before we uh, call it a day. time today in this left-hand drive mark II. i've been driving around country roads which has been so much fun i even managed to stop and go and get myself a cheeseburger from a drive-through which in a left-hand drive car i thought was going to be a lot harder than it actually is so maybe i should do that more but then again maybe for my waistline maybe i shouldn't but still i think the moral of the story is is driving a left-hand drive mark ii is the same choice as driving a mark ii with or without power steering so if you've got a car with power steering you'll find it very easy to park and you'll just put it anywhere um, if you've got a car without power steering like this jetta um, you'll have to think about it a little bit more and maneuver more at low speeds than just turning that steering wheel and pulling away so again it's the same with the left-hand drive car you've got to think about your distances when overtaking um, you've got to think about your visibility and just things like my little grabber stick to get into the office so there's small changes to the way i drive that let me enjoy a whole host of left-hand drive mark twos so for me guys that's kind of it at the end of the day left hand drive right hand drive it makes no difference it's a mark ii just get in it enjoy it and you'll have a brilliant time so guys if you like the video please press the thumbs up and like the video remember to subscribe to the channel and press the notification button so you don't miss any mark ii content that we upload and once again from me thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one